Is underwhelming the best way to describe your wig? Does it lack the volume that you truly desire? Then maybe it's time to add in some wefts to obtain the very full head of hair that your heart demands. What you'll need. A base wig. A second wig. As my goal was only to add volume and not to add in a secondary colour, I bought two of the same wig. Needles and thread in a similar colour. Pins. A wide tooth comb. Securing devices like clips, elastics or bobby pins. Scissors. A quick unpick. And a wig head, which is roughly your size. Let's get cracking. The first thing to do is to secure your wig to your wig head with pins. I suggest two on either side of the base, two on the sides near your ears, and one in the crown. Grabbing your wide tooth comb, comb out your wig, starting from the bottom and then working your way up. Now the fun begins! Take your secondary wig and start unpicking the wefts. Make sure you're only unpicking the stitches holding the wefts to the elastic or the cap, not the stitches holding the fibres together, or the fibres themselves. I like to work from the bottom up, as that is the same direction I will be sewing them into the main wig. Next, go ahead and secure the hair above the area you were wanting to work on. You can see here that there is a good space between each existing weft layer. Then pin the wefts from the secondary wig between the wefts you've parted. Some people prefer to stack them directly on top of the existing wefts, but I like to place them about halfway between the existing wefts as it means less gaps when worn. Take your needle and thread and begin sewing in the wefts. I'm using a curved needle here as it makes the process a bit easier, but a straight needle will work fine too. You simply connect the top of the weft and the elastic strap, or a cap if you're using a wig with that sort of base, by sewing through them both. And you repeat this over, and over, and over again. After each new section, comb the added wefts into the main body of the wig. Then release the top hair and give that a good comb too. Warning, warning, warning. warning. In case you haven't guessed, this project is quite repetitive. So you may start off happy, but know it is completely normal if you go through a range of emotions. At times you may feel confused, aggressive, sad, frustrated, and you may even rage quit once or twice. However, take a deep breath and have a moment to reflect and recite, this is for the cosplay, this is for the cosplay. Then pick up your work, and continue. <laughs> All right, and getting back to the tutorial now, if sewing is really not your thing, you can always use either hot glue or fabric glue instead. I just personally feel sewing is less messy and has a better hold. The last thing I want to talk to you about is toupee clips. These are optional, but I find that they are the best way to keep a wig on your head. Think about it. You've just added essentially double the weight of the original wig, maybe more if you weft it in an extra two or three wigs. The wig is more likely to slide out of position or even come off completely, on top of which toupee clips are super easy to sew in. I recommend two on the sides near your ears, two on the top, a little back from the front of the hairline, and if you're doing an updo style, add two more down the bottom. And then you're done. Here's a little demonstration of what it actually looks like side by side as a before and as an after. I am super thrilled with the results. I hope that you like it too and will maybe consider adding some extra wefts into your next project's wigs. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and liking my Facebook page. See you next time!